George Carlin fans. What the fuck do you think George would think of the world if he were alive in 2022? Everything he criticized during his life is still firing on all cylinders today. Same shit he said back then. The planet is fine. The people are fucked. Same old shit, different day. George Carlin would hate it but he'd also hate like half the people who post clips of him on Reddit. He'd say three words, told you so. Dude was way ahead of his time. He would say, see, I fucking told you. He wouldn't be surprised at all. Shit. Piss. Fuck. Cunt. Cocksucker. Motherfucker. Tits. Summed it up then and now. He'd think, told you so. There are nights when the wolves are silent and only the moon howls. George Carlin. I would pay so much to watch him go off about this fuckery. We don't have to think, he left us a full body of work. The owners have taken over, and we let them. He would have starred in Bill and Ted face the music for sure. It's all bullshit and it's bad for you. Why is it so dark in this box? He'd just tell you. See what I said about the uneducated? Lol. Also liked Robin Williams' take on Trump. So accurate. That trying to get a dead man's opinion from idiots on the internet is some of the dumbest shit ever. He would hate everyone who uses this site. Oh my gosh he would tear it a new asshole. It cracks me up when I see conservatives share his stuff. Not like he's pro-dems either but he definitely leans more liberal I think. I'm not sure much has changed. He'd be funnier than ever. He'd chew out the people who post gifts of him saying dumb shit he'd never say. If he was alive Carlin 2024. He wouldn't be surprised. Ah. Made me smile just the thought. He'd be doing this bit about fear of germs. HTTPS colon slash slash m dot youtube dot com slash watch. V equals x 29 LF 43 Mulo. He'd probably be a Bernie guy but still rail against political correctness like he always did. I think that Carlin would lose his fucking mind, especially after experiencing Trump in the Oval. I'd be afraid his head would explode before he finished his monologue. I don't know but we are the losers not knowing. The male disease, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch. V equals 19 centiliters 0 ru jx 4 e. I fucking told ya so. The stupid amount of hypocrisy with religion in politics? Carlin would hit a whole new peak. Really sorry he missed it. Well, it looks like you fuckers got a big, giant dose of I told you so. Quote. I'd love to hear it. Whatever his thoughts were. 
not sure but it would be on point. He would say I told you so. Should have never bought into the bullshit cause it's bad for you. He would have even less time for this same old shit. Mr. Conductor would hate. Entropy. Bowling averages are way down, mini golf scores are way up. I think he'd have a stroke or a fucking aneurysm. He would be disgusted beyond belief. Well, he would not be surprised at all, anyway. Probably all the same but with added focus on how much worse politicians are and how horrible the media has gotten. Everything he warned us about came true. When Andrew Dice Clay was becoming popular, Carlin had some pretty damn modern sounding things about what comedy was for and who it should target. HTTPS www.youtube.com slash watch v equals f8yv8xuorq8 He'd be thrilled truly. He loves bad news in his own words. https colon slash slash u2.be slash dhvp1hbvoy4 t equals 61 I think we all know. He wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised by what the world has become. He would unload with incredible monologues. Proceeding precisely as previously predicted. A whole lot of I told you so. Probably something close to, told ya so. Yep. Shoulda dragged those PPL to a moonlight beach, and beat him to death WA7 iron. Told ya. Quote. Ha ha that man was ahead of his time. Probably the same thing. See for yourself https colon slash slash u2.be slash clodgehalk. I told you so. He'd probably say something along the lines of, I told you so. Keep sitting on America but even harder. Shit on Europe for not shitting on Russia enough and shitting on anti-vaxxers endlessly I miss this man. Anti-vax? Seriously? You. Watch his skits. Still relevant, just move the names around. I miss that angry old man. I don't think he'd even be surprised. The second Trump announced his candidacy. He'd probably have been like, holy fuck. We're in the end times. I don't think I'm ready for the verbal ass beating of truth and disgust he would deliver to my ears. He would still slay. I guarantee the seven words would be said a whole lot more. Trump. He would have died making fun of him. Literally the same thing he said back in the day. And we were stupid for not listening to him. He would have died on stage roasting Donald Trump. He would have carved him up on a platter. Laid out all of Trump's shortcomings. Had the crowd cheering loudly. Then just died due exasperation. He was right. I would love to know what he had to say about Q-Nuts. I know his special would be amazing. 
I miss George more than any other celebrity that has died. The world is a lot less funny without him. George Carlin vs. The Trump Administration and Hash X200B. There's shooting fish in a barrel, and then there's dropping a tactical nuke in a bucket of shrimp. Same shit different sandwich, but now, let me tell you, drinks water, slicks back hair. He definitely would have went hard at Trump. Every day. He died specifically so he wouldn't have to see it. He would have made a killing on ripping Trump apart. I told you so, but even this exceeded my expectations. I told you so. He'd be surprised to discover that even he underestimated the depths to which American society could sink. I can also see him drinking deeply of the cancel culture flavor aid. I've been saying it. I've been saying it for 85 fucking years, ain't I been saying it? He's been rolling in his grave so often we could hook him up to a turbine and energize the Texas electric grid. The circus is in town and we've got ringside seats. Exclamation mark. Neato. Quote. He would be really fucking pissed. That we're just as stupid as we were when he was alive if not more. I love Carlin. But I'd like to think Ricky Gervais is the George Carlin of our time. He's so smart and talks about real issues with things and still has funny bits. Called it. Exclamation mark. End scene. He'd come back for one day and say, fuck. Hell's a hell of a lot better. Then dip. He'd say a big, told you. The hell he would bring down on TikTokers and Instagrammers. It would have been glorious. Shit. Piss. Fuck. Cunt. Cocksucker. Motherfucker and tits. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more content.